Today I will be showing you the best build in Cyberpunk 2077 patch 2.0. Stay tuned for that. Hi and welcome guys. My name is Frankie Boy on this channel. I'm covering everything regarding open world RPGs such as Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm super happy to have you guys here on the channel. And welcome to everyone new here. We love RPGs. We love open world shooters such as Cyberpunk. And... I found a build that is really awesome, rocking everything and is insanely good. I can't tell you how much fun it is to uh, to actually like dash through the enemy, slash them, however you like. And this build is just super duper awesome. I will present this to you at my favorite farm spot that I showed you in another video. And I just reset it by going on my motorcycle. And then we have a ton of enemies right here. I will present you the build first and then I will show you how it works. It's super easy, super convenient. And let me craft some ammunition beforehand so I can actually use my weapons. I think it's kind of weird that you like can't craft them all, but it is that way. All right, this is the classic double Jing Long. What is Jing Long? It is a smart submachine gun, absolute Blast! I did a video on the top 7 weapons you need in Cyberpunk 2077 before the DLC and still after the DLC release. This is the by far best submachine gun. It has a shock chance. Yeah, Every fifth shot will shock an enemy and uh, you can expect them to hit so fast that every enemy will be hit by at least 5 shocks and get a shot. No, the other way around. How do you get it? You craft it. It's a craftable weapon and please watch my video on the top seven weapons on how to get it. It is just linked on the channel or just go to my channel in the video, video tab and then you find top seven weapons in cyberpunk. Of course, we need some cyberware but we will get to that later. Beforehand, I will just take a look with you guys at my body tab. My body is awesome um, because I have health regeneration, I have Increased health regeneration for enemies around, better health regen rate, and of course, yeah, the mitigation chance when using a blood pump or a health item. 100% for two seconds, it's quite a nice chance to actually get out of combat or so. As for the reflexes, I want to show you guys these awesome skills. All right, we need some movement, all right? So... Everything down here is super handy for everyone moving in any fight. Then we have the dash and the can't touch this doom, ba -da doom. Super duper awesome to be dashing in the fight and not get hit because you get a 100% mitigation chance again. And this is super nice. All right, we just skill about anything on the left hand side except for like stamina cost for hip firing i'm rarely hip firing so i don't use that and uh, we use like anything right here we get stacks for doing shots and if you want to you can get salt in the wound but you don't need it for this build so keep that in mind what you really need is the submachine fun for the submachine gun because you get 20 20 22 percent fire rate after swapping to an smg and normal reloading ends the effect so you won't normal reload so this is the jing long and this is the other jing long so i swap between these two you see up there i get a buff every time i switch to them i have 22 percent increased firing speed and i also have the full magazine reloaded so i can just like swap between them it's super easy super convenient no need to reload anymore. As for the technical ability, feel free to just uh, copy that. If you don't want to use grenades, you would do like this build. If you want to do grenades, you would like do that. You can even get a third stack on here. Yes, I think it's kind of what you prefer if you want to use grenades or not. As for the net runner, uh, the edge runner, you definitely want this. This is like one of the best skills in the whole game. It's super awesome. If it procs, it's just nice. I would totally recommend getting it. And uh, updating your cyberware is insane because it will, like, it will complement any build you can play in the game. So this tab right here, it's perfect for almost anything. For the coolness, you don't need it. If you want to crouch, you can totally get like this talent, this talent, this talent. But you don't need it. I, I think you only need it when you want to play stealthy. And this build kind of doesn't need that. 
As for intelligence, I got some quick hack upgrades. And as you guys can see on this save, I'm level 45. I want to get some more int to upgrade my smart weapons further. This will be a huge upgrade. I can get it at level 47 or if I respec, of course, too. Better smart weapons are what we need for this to even better work. Intelligence, also, of course, the edge runner and the reflexes tab are like the three things we need to max out and get the smart synergy. It's super awesome to increase that. So perspectively, you will uh, get the target lock and of course the smart synergy as well if you can. As for relics, I'm rocking with the improved mono wire and I'm rocking of course with vulnerability. Other things are not like needed for the builds. Needed is of course cyberware. We definitely want the smart link to make use of our Jinglong, otherwise it won't work. Also, I would totally recommend getting a second heart. It's like second life. It procs when you reach zero health and then you have full health again. It has a long cooldown, but it's super awesome because you will be in the fight with machine pistols and you will be quite squishy. You're not tanky. You're more like dashing around and if you get hit, you will get hit a lot. But in reality, you rarely die, to be honest, because most of the situations are quite easy, especially when using like the dash or the double jump. You are very fast, very hard to hit. And double jumping while having a smart machine pistol or submachine gun in your hand that automatically aims for you is super nice. It looks awesome. I also spoke about the mono wire. I put a quick hack in it, which is like the reboot optics. You can choose whatever quick hack you want, but getting a quick hack in your mono wire is so awesome. I use it mostly when I don't have ammunition left. You load up the mono wire and then you smash it and the optics will be reload. All right, let's get into the fight and uh, show you some gameplay. Um, besides that, you don't need that much of cyberware. I think it's just optional. As said before, the grenades, they smash really anything if they hit of course and uh the the jinglong will just like cut through anything like a razor blade it's super awesome but always remember to switch between jinglongs loop always at low health <laughs> um dashing around is always crucial swapping to the next jinglong swapping to the next jinglong and i'm almost just <laughs> never aiming as you can see i'm always like exploding with electricity it's totally fine um that's my build to be honest i have an item that uh, gives enemies an electric shock on impact and um, this is quite nice to get i guess but you don't need it as well what you need are like is like the build and to get some awesome cyberware just get some cyberware that you think fits that that's your playstyle. i think if you play my playstyle, uh, you want to get some some nice armor as well and some health regen, some like headshot damage improvement. If you want to like some grenades is also possible. Like grenades are super duper awesome on this build. And uh, as you can see, they hit quite hard. Also, Jing Long makes them explode with electricity all the time. This is it's just insane. You see the electrical damage all the time and uh, it just it's so much fun. I love this build. I think it really feels like that's how Cyberpunk is supposed to play, in my opinion. You can see how I enjoy playing with this build. And you can farm so many items and so much levels with it. It just feels kind of natural to me. It's just awesome. All right, there we have some more enemies. And you can see my health is still bouncing up, bouncing down all the time and more and more enemies coming my way. I also made a video about this farm spot if you want to check it out, like totally do so. Oh, heavy machine gun. I don't know if that is a great idea, to be honest. I will level my solo, but um, ah, I also talked about, of course, the quick hacks, which I uh, could use. I use it for like sniper targets. I think it's the best for them. Maybe you, you're suicide or so, but I, I sometimes forget to use it because I'm in so much having so much fun with the Jinglong that I don't think about using those those kind of items or, or those quick hacks to actually improve my uh, gameplay even further. But when I do, they hit quite hard and can sometimes easily one hit an enemy. Like, of course, like suicide can always one hit enemies. It costs quite a lot, but for snipers, they're super annoying. I like to do that 
and uh, yeah, give myself a little bit of an advantage in those kind of situations. Yeah, besides that, I think that's how you play the build. You just go in and ruin everyone's day with reloading all the time, just making your way through the enemy, slashing them 2023 style. Yeah, you are a real, a real cyberpunk with that build, I think. I hope you had a great time and um, enjoyed the build. So I gave you some perspectives to on how to upgrade it and to in improve your gameplay even further. So let's, let's give this guy a short circuit. Sometimes it one hits them, sometimes it doesn't. In this case it doesn't. Let's give him an overheat on top. Boop. Brr, brr, brr. Now he's down. All right, that's it for today. Upgraded my headhunter and got some experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had a blast and I will see you in the next video on Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye.